Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to learn how to solve this beautiful system of equation. Yeah, this is system of equation because you observe we have two unknowns, two variables, and we have two equations. So when you have such, it's called system of equation or your simultaneous equation. Now, don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. It's just so easy to work on. Let's do that together. So we're going to begin this with solution. So what do we do? Let's repeat what we have. So we have 2x plus y is equal to 20 and xy is equal to 44. We can call this equation 1 and this is 2. So what we do first is we can choose to make x subject from equation 1 or you make y subject, okay? Whichever one you want to. So let's make x subject. So if we make x subject... So we're going to have make x subject from equation 1 and that will give us x. To remove this, you see it's addition. So you're going to subtract from both sides. So x will be 20 minus y. So we're going to put this value of x in the second equation. Remember, we made it subject in the first, so you substitute in the second one. Now to do that, what do we have? This is going to give us, so we have x is 20 minus y so we have 20 minus y is multiplied by this y and this is equal to 44 interesting now multiply this is also written as y into 20 minus y is equal to 44 so this y will be distributed inside this and if you do that you have this multiplies we give you 20 y and this multiplies is negative y squared is equal to 44. Now you observe that the highest power of this y is 2. It is leading you to a quadratic equation. So beautify this, you are going to have, collect this first, you have negative y squared, this is positive. So you have positive 20y. Now this is positive 44. You are taking it to the left side. So you are going to subtract, okay? So you subtract 44 from both sides and this is equal to zero. So you observe carefully that most students don't like working with negative values when they begin it. So to remove this negative sign, multiply this equation by negative one. This multiplies this. We are going to have y squared and 20y multiplies negative one gives us negative 20y. And negative 44 multiplies negative 1 gives us positive 44. When 0 multiplies, it gives us 0. So this is what we have. And to solve this quadratically, you just remember that for well, formula says y is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is going to be our guide. Now, remember that your a is the quotient of your y squared. So in that case, our a is going to be 1, and our b is the quotient of y, which is negative 20, and our c is the constant number, which is 44. Plug this into this formula. We are going to now have y is equal to negative, already in the formula, our b is negative 20. So you have to be conscious of it. To put it in bracket okay plus or minus square root of your b is still negative 20 so you square it minus 4 your a is 1 multiplied by your c is 44 and this is divided by 2 multiplied by our a is 1 so simplifying this we have y is this will give us positive 20 plus or minus negative 20 squared is negative 20 times negative 20 and that will give us positive 400 so we're going to have square root of 400 if you multiply this you have this will give us 16 take one so we're going to have 176 interesting and this will be divided by multiply this it gives you two so if you keep simplifying we have and don't forget to like this video and also tell us how it helps you in the comment share it so that others will learn thank you and let's continue so to keep simplifying we have our y is equal to 20 plus or minus square root of when you subtract this you are going to have 224 okay 
divided by 2. Now, we are going to reduce this because we want to find the perfect square in this. Just remember, when you have 224, let's do it without calculator. So 2 here is 1, here is 1, here is 2. 2 is 5, remaining 1. This is 6. 2 will give us 28. 2 will give us 14. 2 here is 7. And 7 is 1. So because it's square root, you are going to pair it. Okay, so you pair this. Now, these ones can be paired. Multiply this, the ones that you paired. It will give you 4. Then these ones will remain in the root. So it's going to be 14. So it gives you 4 root 14. So for simplifying this, it gives you this. So in that case, we are going to have y is equal to, so we are going to have our y is equal to 20 plus or minus 4 root 14 divided by 2. Interesting. Now we keep simplifying this. Our y is equal to 20 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 root 14 divided by 2. Keep simplifying. Why we give you this will give us 10 plus or minus this will give us 2 root 14. So it means that the first value of y is 10 plus 2 root 14. And then the second value of y is 10 minus 2 root 14. So we're going to plug these two values of y into the x to get the values of x. To do that, we have. Now we have to recall. So we recall that we said x is equal to 20 minus y. So if this is so, we can now plug in the first value of y. So to get the first value of x, we are going to have when our first value of y is equal to 10 plus 2 root 14. Let's get the corresponding value of x. So we have x1 is 20 minus. Now you see that your y is an expression. So you have to be conscious to put it in a bracket, okay? So that this sign here will affect all the signs inside. So to do that, we have the first value of x will give us 20. This will distribute into this. So we are having negative 10. This will give us negative 2 root 14. Simplify more, we have the first value of x will give us, subtract this, we have 10 minus 2 root 14. So what it means is that when you have the first value of x, the corresponding value of y, we are going to have x is 10 and minus 2 root 14. Then the first value of y is 10 plus 2 root 14. Now let's get the second value of x, and that will be when second value of y is 10 minus 2 root 14. So we're going to plug it here to now have the second value of x we give us 20 minus, remember you still need to put this in bracket so that you have this, okay? So simplifying this, we have second value of x we give us 20, distribute this, it gives us negative 10 plus 2 root 14. So if you keep simplifying, you have the second value of x, this will give you 10 plus 2 root 14. So if you gather it together, you have the second value of x and the corresponding y will give us 10 plus 2 root 14 for the second value of x and 10 minus 2 root 14 for the second value of y. So you observe that for this first value, for this set, this is what we got for the first set and this is what we have for the second set. Now, if you look at these two values, you will see that the values are the same. The first value of y is the second value. The first value of x is the second value of y. And the, second, the first value of y is the second value of x. So to do a check, we are going to use one of these sets to check if we put it in the left side, will it give us the right side? And this is the interesting part. I wouldn't want you to miss. Now to do this, we have, so to check, we are going to use the first set. You can also try the second set, okay? Let's discuss in the comments. So let's use the first set for when you have 10 minus 2 root 14 and 10 plus 2 root 14. So let's plug this 
in the first equation to see if it gives us 20. So we're going to have x plus y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 14 plus the y value is 10 plus 2 root 14. So if you collect like terms, you are going to have 10 plus 10 minus 2 root 14 plus 2 root 14. So you see this and this goes up. So you are left with this plus this gives you 20. And that is what you have at the right side. Now we're going to do for the second equation to see if it gives us 44. XY will be equal to 10 minus 2 root 14 is multiplying 10 plus 2 root 14. Now this reminds you of when you have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b. So this reminds you of what you have here. You observe that the numbers are the same. The difference is in the sign. So when you have it this way, it is this. Remember, this can also be subtraction first and then addition second, whichever one you want to place first. So it's the same as this. So it means that we can put this in this form where this is our a and this is b. So if you keep simplifying from here, we have x, y will give us 10 squared minus, obeying this, 2 root 14 raised to the power of 2. Interesting. Now we keep simplifying. We have x, y will give us 10 squared is 10 times 10, and that is 100 minus. When you have this, it means 2 root 14 is multiplied 2 times, okay? So that will give us x, y is equal to 100. When you multiply 2 and 2, it gives you 4. And when you multiply root 14 and root 14, just know that root A multiplied by root A is the same as root A squared. Okay? So the square cancels the square root and you'll be left with A. So when you multiply this, it gives you 14. Interesting. So we keep simplifying this. We are going to have x, y is 100 minus, multiply this, it gives you 16, take 1, we have 56. So when you subtract this, you are going to have x, y is giving you 44. And that is what we have at the right side. So in conclusion, we have it that the values of x and y, which is 10 minus 2 root 14, and 10 plus 2 root 14 then the second value of x and y which is 10 okay plus 2 root 14 and 10 minus 2 root 14 are both uh, correct and i hope this really helps you a lot don't forget to give this a like let's also know how you feel about this in the comment you can also click for more updates from us. You always get notification from us. Thank you for always choosing to lend to us. I appreciate you all. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.